Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to LA Noir for more crime fighting point and click action. We are right back where we left off. Ooh. I'm guessing about to investigate this hit and run. Wow, what a start. Uh, before we do right, so though, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video. So you get a notification to your device every time I upload. Did I say about hitting the notification bell? I don't know. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing, your ongoing uh, support. Shook me up a little bit watching that. Oh, you can replay the cases. That's interesting. Okay, so... What do we want to do here? Sorry, there's just this mosquito coming. Get out of here, mosquito. God, what a start to this episode, huh? Really weird. Okay. Um, before we start as well, the usual warning. Um, this episode may contain scenes which some viewers may find upsetting or disturbing. Get out of the way, officer. Um, yeah, so just bear that in mind if you're going to be watching. We're going to be investigating that hit and run. So we might have to investigate the body, I'm guessing. Let's go. God, that was pretty brutal, wasn't it? Like we even saw him got run over. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let it go. How do you do okay, that? Okay, it's just around the corner. I'll give him something better. Is this near where we did our first case? When we were on patrol? Ray's Cafe, 4.32am. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we are going to have to investigate it. So lucky I gave that warning, huh? Okay. Who's that? Guessing that's Detective. Ray. He looks a bit Over suspicious, here. actually. What's up? Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar. Lester Patterson. The street, car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed okay. the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old. Okay. She left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now Shut we'll take a look around. Bukowski. I think that's his name, isn't it? Right. Crime scene. I guess we'll look at the body no. first thing, perhaps. You should take a look at the body. First. He distracted me, Sam Phelps. I ended on we are having a ended up here. Car must have struck him from bad behind. start to this episode, guys. I apologise. My mind is all over the place. Right, time to concentrate now. We've got the body here. Let's look at his head. Nothing overly suspicious there. Okay. Let's look at his hands. I don't think we've got anything there. What about this hand? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, anything in his pockets? Ah, a wallet. Patterson residence. Find next of kin. Okay. So we've got a little bit of a bio on him, a bit of cash. Hardly any though. Okay. Um, that is all that was in there. Let's have a look at this. California Fire and Life, Lester Patterson. It's with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application and pre-approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy. Patterson has life insurance. Huh. 
In the event, if you're untimely death of permanent, this new plan secures your beneficiaries a sum of $16,000. Someone's written on it as well. Huh. So he increased his payments for his life insurance just before this happened. That makes it suspicious, doesn't it? Alright, should we try looking Donald elsewhere Richard. then? All reports he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. Yeah, he looked like he was stumbling out, didn't he? I'd done the Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What okay. about the chest wound? Isn't That's that what the, the other officer said. Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Car with a prominent hood ornament. There's a hat here. Is that his hat? I think it is. Um, doesn't look like there's much going on here. I guess it just got knocked off by the impact. Right, we've got to take a look at this crime scene a bit better than the last one because we missed clues last time. Right, what's this? Hmm. Body travelled a good 20 feet. Went miles. Must have been... Well, he was hit hard, but yeah. Must have been hit. What the hell? Oh, there's the break-in. a long way from the body. The car must have been huh. going like a bat out of hell. That is a long way. Weird. Okay, what else have we got? Brake things. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Huh. Still got more to investigate. About the bin. Is all yours Hang on, I wanna have a look around first. But what about the alleyway? That that's always a suspicious place, right? Ah That's weird. A knife covered in blood. A bloody knife. Be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. Unless, of In course, case, it isn't. Tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. What if he was stabbed in the alley and that's why he stumbled out, didn't look, and got hit by a car? Did you think about that, Bukowski? No, you didn't. Because you're a cocky son of a bitch. Right, okay. Do we have anything else? To investigate. Because I don't want to miss anything this time. Oh. Never okay, apparently that counted as leaving the crime scene. What's this? Cigarette packet. Incidental. Yep. Incidental indeed. Okay. What do we have here? A bottle? I don't think this is going to help us. Okay. Nope. No, not sure what that is. Yeah, see, E. They weren't going to find that without me. Right, should we talk to this lady then? Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Right, eyewitness report. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Okay, so there was an argument. Uh, do we think that's right? We don't really have much to go by. Argument overheard. I think she's telling the truth. Then what happened? I don't think this woman's involved. Man and knock him down the street. Okay. Suspect vehicle description. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. That looks pretty much like what we saw on the clip. And she looks pretty sure about it. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Well, that's helpful. So we can call in the suspect vehicle. Right, argument Tell me overheard. More about the argument you heard. 
Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. No, she's holding something back. Okay, what do we have? I don't think we have anything. We've got the knife, but I don't think... Right, it's going to have to be bad cop. Why that bartender's looking this? very suspicious in there. I'm sorry. Look at him looking out the window at us. The newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actor. What, by withholding a potentially up, important witness statement? People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Okay, so she had... He, well, you, Your he had very helpful. an argument with his wife. You really prior to this so? happening. I hope you find that driver and put him away. That's what we'll um, try to do. It's our job. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Yeah, Bukowski, shut up. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Okay, so we've still got a chrome scene here. Ah. Another newspaper. Press X to see the story behind the headline. Shrink to the stars promises mental breakthrough. I like these, they're quite interesting. Boy, come in. Have a seat. Thanks. Doctor. How are you finding work? Oh, Courtney out? again. It's uh, fine. Are you sure? So in a way, Phelps is sort of loosely connected to this story, isn't he? Because this was one of his former army buddies. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Yeah, they don't really need to stay Why sedated. I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Court, learning to be patient. How is it right. possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are great, Court. Maybe he's not actually telling people what he's doing. Is he like illegally giving drugs to patients? That's what I'm starting to perhaps think. Or perhaps think. What is wrong with my speaking today? Right. The music stopped, so I wonder if we got all of the the clues now. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good. Well, start. we've got some questions for you. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Mm. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna Mrs. Patterson home. Yeah. Okay, this guy's suspicious as hell. Right. Hit and run incident. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here and all I heard was the impact. Yeah, that's a lie. That's a lie. I don't think we can prove it though. It was the argument, but we're going to ask him about that in a bit. Bad cop. So what was he doing outside? It's against yes. licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Okay, association with the victim. Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Yeah, I think that's the truth. There's no reason why he'd lie about that. Not one of your favorite customers. It doesn't seem to like Lester him though. Special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No, he came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Oh, what was she interested in? 
Okay, argument overheard in the bar. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, he's lying. Well, he knows something more anyway. I don't, we don't really have a lot of evidence to press on people in this case, do we? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking oh, about really? Bar. Leroy. Leroy. Who's Sabo, Leroy? The owner. Ah. So she was thinking about opening a new bar with the owner of this bar. Hmm. Joint business venture. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Nah, he knows. But again, I don't think we have anything to accuse him with. Well, this is a different case, isn't it? Before we had tons of evidence. Right, bad cop. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Bad cop is correct. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is okay. Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Hmm. Poker games, eh? Thanks for your help, Lynch. I wonder if I'm they're legal poker, poker games. Oh, sure. No hmm. problem. Oh, level seven. Out of the doing quite well. They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester okay. was a fan of the love tap. Great. Uh, the phone's appeared on the map, so I'm guessing we have to go and call something in. Oh yeah, we did get a notification to call something in, didn't we? Operator, message for KGPL. Thank you. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Oh, yeah, that's it. We had to call the car in, didn't we? Who's it belong to? Yes. William Shelton. Shelton. Thanks. It's like we caught a break on this one. Yeah. Hey, look, the mirror is really cool. I love little details like that in games. I think it's fantastic when they do things like that. Okay. So I guess we've got to go now to somewhere else. That's um, pretty much all we can do here, isn't it? It's Insta Heat again, the uh, company from the the first case, really. Right, where should we go? Should we go to Shelton first? Yeah, I guess we go to Shelton because he's a potential... Well, he's the one who run him over. So if we go to him first... Lucky break getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours. Of killing them. Shut up, Bukowski. Why did they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Well, on a hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. Not as right, so that's why we're going out. now before he drives away somewhere. I was making myself See, I'm smart. Okay, we're here. This is his house. <gasps> There's the car. Shelton residence, 4.52 a.m. What was he doing driving around at this time of morning anyway? Seems like a really weird time. Okay. Shelton residence, 7.43 a.m. What? Oh, we were waiting for him. Yeah, look, he is making a run for it. So it's lucky we came here first. Because he could have run away, really, couldn't he? Yeah, that's definitely the car, look. It's all smashed up. 
stop, Willie sir. Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene. Not to mention the physical damage. Yeah, not to mention the so massive flipping shot, dent in the front of the car. Oh no. It's another chase. <laughs> I was warned about this by Matthew Antoine last time. <laughs> Saying that I'm going to really hate the tight turns on some of these chases coming up, so... Apologies for the poor driving, guys. It's not my area of expertise. <laughs> but we'll get this guy. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Trying. Why's everyone running away? This car's already mashed up. Oh no! Crap! No wonder he killed someone driving like this. I'm going to kill someone driving like this. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Yeah, I haven't got like a flipping super fast car, away. man. Oh, we nearly ran that woman over. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. see them. How's yes, the we got him. manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. I kind of believe him. Love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm a woman you, and a man. Fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. I've got a feeling that the wife and the... Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. I've got a feeling that the you're wife... The prospect of paperwork, don't you? And the owner killed him with the knife. Or stabbed him at least. This is my little theory. Stabbed him. And then he ran out into the middle of the road. And got hit by William Shelton. That's what I think happened. But we shall see. Let's head over to the Patterson residence. which hopefully is not too far away. I mean, we smashed into that car, didn't we? But that wasn't my fault. I was in a police pursuit. It's not my fault. <laughs> my driving's got a lot better. Oi. Okay, it's got to be this way, hasn't it? Why are they playing like children's sleep songs on the radio? <laughs> Here we go. Patterson Residence, 9.03 a.m. Okay, and I think that's where we'll leave it, guys, because we're out of time. So, perfect place to end. In the next one, we'll go in and we'll question the Patterson, um, Mrs. Patterson about her involvement in all this. It's um quite a good case this, isn't it? It's really interesting. I can't wait to see what actually happened and whether my theory is right. Uh, but we'll do that in the next one. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time. Cole, you've got things to do.